Hey guys, today we will build up my Badlands bike. It will be the Basso Palta I'm riding all the time, the black, the Phantom Black one. And I received some wheels from Fulcrum. I have some tires from IRC. Then I have uh, Leonardi components, which I'm using for the, for the race. And now we are going to install the tires. So first of all, these are the Fulcrum wheels. They are made for gravel. They have a very wide inner rim. And I have to check how, how, how thick it is. I, I guess it is like 25 millimeters. Um, it's a very shallow rim. We have uh, an asymmetric rim design. I don't know if you can see it. The rim is not symmetric. On the, on the right side, you have an asymmetric pro profile. You have some little holes for some water that's maybe coming out. We don't have holes, so it's already prepared for tubeless. We have nipples that are at the outside, so it's not hard to adjust them. The spokes are round. They are not, not no, um, no flat spokes or sharp spokes. I have no idea how it's called in English. <laughs> But yeah, let's put them out. Maybe also make a hub check. Hmm? Yeah, you don't hear so much, but I guess it's 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 okay. It don't has to be always loud, especially when you're riding in the desert and it's pretty calm all the time. I guess that that's cool when you don't hear a loud clacking all the time. So yeah, let's mount the tires. So here we have the Leonardi, the cassette. Uh, it's called uh, General Lee. It's 12 speed and 948. That's the cassette. It's all black. You can adjust the big ring that you can easily switch it. You have some uh, little pins here that you can trigger in, and then you can just remove the, the big the big one. But I think uh, 48 9 is enough. I will write uh, 36 oval chain ring in the front so this will be the cassette so these are the IRC tires I have two different ones these are the Balkan double cross they have a profile like I said with 42 millimeters both are tubeless ready and the uh, Balkan double cross is a bit heavier than the The normal Boken, so I'm not really sure which one I'm I'm using. If maybe the the, uh, the tire with more profile is better, so yeah, I'm not really sure which one I'm taking. Maybe I'm doing uh, using a mix, the one with the tire in the back for more traction, and the one with uh, less profile in the front that the wheel is spinning better and with a lower lower uh, with a lower rolling resistance for sure but yeah i'm not really sure which one i'm using but i will use the stands no tubes milk and we have here some ptn gravel sport i'm not really sure if this is necessary for the race um but we will see i guess maybe uh, we will mount it but maybe not um yeah We will see. Huh? What you never should forget are the PTN valves, and they are special, special developed for this kind of um, usage because they have uh, other air uh, hole that with which you can inflate the, the tire so here are the, the valves now putting in the valve in the on the little, the little rubber there we go 
Okay, so what the guys from the distribution of IRC told me, what I didn't know before, is that you have to shake the bottle, the milk, like for one minute at least, because all of the sealant that is, uh, that is thicker is on the ground. So you have to shake it a bit more that this is mixing with the other stuff. Because I made the mistake that I just filled in the more fluid stuff and then the tire wasn't getting, uh, the hole wasn't um, filled with the, with the more fluid one. So you need the th thicker one, but the hole is finally going to, to be filled. So that's the reason why I'm shaking a bit more this time. <laughs> So let's open this. So what what I'm a, what I'm a big fan of is taking the scale to make sure how many uh, mil, um, how many sealant I inserted. So what I'm doing for that, I, I mean here is the scale, but it's pretty diff difficult to tell at which point you are because you always need, need some light and some good eyes to see where the the line is going. So what I'm doing is. I'm taking the weight, so it's like 1,020 grams, and then I'm filling in as much, like 60, 60, 60 grams, so 60 milliliters. Just removing. Ah, there you go. There you can see that some of the stuff is. Ooh. Okay, maybe we have to shake it again. Okay, there's still... Yeah, that's just... It's just right. Okay. And now we are going to mount the tire. It's, it's a bit harder to mount the tire on this one because PTN noodle is inside. So it's a bit more... You know, you have to push more now we are turning the wheels slightly that the milk is always going to the place where the tire is already mounted so we are now mounting the cassette choose a 36 tooth oval chain ring from Garabook and i'm now going to mount it on my leonardi crankset here's the crankset 170 millimeter. That's the axle. The bolts. And the other one. So we're now taking the chain ring with the free clamp system with the direct mount. Put it on. But first of all, we are putting some Loctite on the screws. So what I'm taking for my luggage and my bag is the carbon rail of Telfin, which will hopefully make my riding not too bad with shaking and other stuff because of the bag that is under my saddle. So yeah, let's see how this is going.
so it's pretty nice. Our flights got cancelled from Munich and Frankfurt, so I'm not able to fly from Frankfurt tomorrow to Malaga. We managed to find one from Karlsruhe, Baden-Baden, but it will start at Saturday morning at 6.30. So that's a pretty tough timetable, but yeah, what can you do? So um, just making the best out of the situation and try to, yeah, stay motivated. So this is the self wax chain. Uh, I now have to just remove a bit of the wax that the single parts of the chain are moving more fluid. And then I'm going to, yeah, Put it on the bike. So this is my finished Basso Palta for the Badlands. I'm using the Phantom Black Palta that is not available anymore, unfortunately. But anyway, this is the 20 to 1 edition. I'm running it with Fulcrum Rapid Red Carbon. The wheel set is around 1,500 gram. It has round spokes. I'm using the Basso Levita handlebar that is around 300 grams, so it's way lighter than the previous handlebar stem combination. Um, I have uh, the tail fin carbon rack, which I will use to transport all the stuff I need. I'm riding a 9 to 48 Leonardi cassette in the back, 12 speed. I have a SRAM XX1 rear derailleur just for the capacity. In the front, I'm using a 170 mm capo crank set with a 36 Garabook uh, melon chain ring. I have a custom basso seat post with zero offset and a tuned comfort saddle. This is working for me the best, so I, I have no idea why, but it works. So I will use this saddle for the for the for the race. Shifting system is a SRAM rival paired with the XX1 derailleur. So this is working out pretty well. I have IRC, double broken double cross tires uh, with a width of 42 millimeters. So just to have uh, a bit more traction on the rear wheel. So this is my weapon of choice. I have um, some PTN noodles inside the rims and some Stan Snow Tubes milk. So I hope that I will not have any punctures or stuff like that. I'm using the, the Time 12T carbon pedals, so um, we just had them at home, so I thought why not taking them. In the front I have a, a Sigma light, that's the 1100, the booster. The GPS unit is a Hammerhead Caro 2, and in the, rear, in the rear I also have the Sigma light. Hopefully this bike will lead me to to finish the Badlands. So this is the bike after the race. The seat post was already demounted. And yeah, you can see the start number 166. Uh, a lot of dry dirt on the down tube of the bike. Um, yeah, it's was crazy how much stuff sticked on the bike because you sometimes had some water that was coming on and here's the red radar it was completely covered with dust so at the end it stopped shifting to the biggest one and here the crank set yeah was working pretty well till the end and yeah my front brake just I don't know why but I lost uh, hydraulic pressure on the on the front brake so in the last downhill it, it stopped braking so I had to just brake with the rear one um, later on I discovered that if I had pushed the front brake more and more and more the, the pressure would finally come back but uh, yeah in a race after 750 kilometers or let's say after 700 75 I, I wasn't thinking about that anymore so yeah did not work and uh, but I made it to the finish safe so that was everything what was important maybe I have to say also that at kilometer 650 it was in a valley 
uh, I felt that my saddle was not tight anymore. So I did not stop because I don't want to see if the saddle seat post is broken or something like that. I just continued riding and literally after one minute the saddle fell off the bike and I was in the middle of nowhere and luckily uh, the screws and everything was still inside. So I saw the saddle directly laying on the ground with the bridge. So I collected them and then I had to mount them at 4 a.m. after 650 kilometers in the in the morning uh, in the downhill somewhere. And it took me around 15 minutes until it was finally again in the right position. So yeah, that was that was the moment I, I really yeah thought about nothing and just did what I had to do to continue riding. <laughs> so um I was really happy as well with the tire choice and with the PTN inlay. I was riding three bars and it was uh, perfect. I really enjoyed every minute with the bike and with the tires, with the wheels. The whole setup was great. Really, it was really, really great. I was really happy to have this kind of support with these components. And yeah, just want to say thank you to you all for supporting me. And yeah. I hope I could give you something back on, on this ride.